Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Zach Lesage here. We're gonna be going over the first Late Night Season 5 event in Astral Radiance, and that's Late Night Series 41. We actually had some crazy decks perform at this event, so I'm really excited to share those with you. In the description below, you can find out more about these decks, including deck lists and basically all the standings, deck lists, all that kind of great stuff. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up like this video subscribe if you haven't already i mean we're we're trying to get to 12,000 subs so we'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe or maybe tell some of your friends to subscribe be awesome and uh let me know in the comments what your favorite decks from this late night series are you can also just totally say hi both boost the youtube algorithm so we totally appreciate that that being said let's jump into this event and see exactly what went down you are now watching zach lesage the best place to learn about competitive pokemon tcg let's get it so here we have it, the late night number 41. There was 200 codes in the prize pool. We had 320 players play. So this is the largest late night in a minute. Um, moving on, we had a few 10 3 ones bubble from cut. So shout out to all the players who played. Uh, it's unfortunate to bubble at, with, with 10 wins or more, but it totally happens to the best of us from time to time. I mean, it totally, totally, totally can happen. Um, that being said, the decks that bubbled were um, Arc Duraludon and Palkia Inteleon. Now, jumping into number eight, we have a fellow Canadian, um, Andre Chiasan. Uh, what I'm gonna say first is I'm gonna do my best to pronounce everyone's names um, as possible. It's one of those things that's difficult. B, I, I try to be as productive as possible when it comes to these decks. I'm just merely giving up my opinions and sharing the top eight decks from this event. Um, if there's any, if you're a player that made top eight or if you have any kind of feedback on these events or why they played a certain tech, by all means, feel free to join into the discussion below. Um, and if you are trying to get any of these cards for these decks, go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code ZLASSAGE5 to save 5% on your next order. Um, Andre's playing a really basic um, Mew list. And basic doesn't mean bad, we just have the 4-3 Mew. Um, doesn't look like there's any new cards from the set. So the goal here is to be using Cross Fusion Strike, um, and then attacking with Techno Blast or Psychic Leap or Melodious Echo or whatever you want to be using, accelerating energies with Elisa's Sparkle, and then just going after with extra damage with Power Tablet, Choice Belt. Um, I mean, you can see where Andre went with the consistency with the four Crams, the four Rotom Phones, the four Ultra Balls, the four Quick Balls, the four Battle VIP Pass. Playing a bunch of four ofs is typically going to be the most consistent way to make one of these decks work. So, I mean, I think that's really cool. Um, otherwise, I think the deck, um, I don't want to say like outdated. There's things that I might change here. Um, I personally like Silene. Silene might be a card that I end up hating in a couple weeks. Um, I think that I like Trekking Shoes right now more than I like Rotom Phone. I, I don't necessarily know if we need training court. Maybe we do. Um, I like Jubilee Village over Old Cemetery, but that doesn't mean that these decks are wrong. I think that it's two different sides of the same deck, and that's where you're going to get some opinions. So I really appreciate Andre for playing in this event. Um, again, I think they're currently they're top 20 in North America right now. So one of the best players in the game, and it's so cool to see some of these players play in these events. I don't know what it was about this event as well. Like we could scroll through a little bit. Um, there was a lot of really strong players like Alex Shemansky and Gustavo Wada and Shintaro. And like, those are just to name a few. Um, but this event was absolutely stacked. So if you are trying to play in the late night series, check it out. The link's also going to be in the description. Uh, moving on to part of the Palkia domination that we were about to see um, is Victor Garcia playing Palkia V-Star with Inteleon. So Palkia V-Star is the new deck to the block. We have Subspace Swell doing 60 plus 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. So during your turn, you may attach up to three water energies from your discard pile to your water Pokemon any way you like. That's its V-Star power that it could use one per turn so you could get set up with the drizzle shady dealings and teleon engine you have different water attackers i mean you could attack with inteleon or radiant greninja and then you have a bunch of water um support so capacious bucket melanie raihan stuff like that to just kind of attack and attack and attack uh, pretty much basic beat em up deck built with um an arceus inteleon build um so we kind of seen have seen these all over um We've seen these all over, but overall, it's one of those things that I think is absolutely amazing. I, I'm really liking how this one looks. So, uh, overall, solid list when it comes to Arc Intel or um, Polk Inteleon. Um, I in Australia, people played Turbo Palkia. 
um, and that's what won so I think we'll probably switch over to that build but maybe there's a case where there's two builds um, but overall I really like how that list looks uh, definitely solid with the consistency we have Gustavo Wada our uh, reigning international champion from Germany so EUIC champ you can see that they're playing here the whole same similar deck they go for the irida with battle vip pass strategy i mean these are what lists traditionally look like for this deck not the turbo build that uh, they played in australia so it's one of those things where i think that this build looks very powerful and it looks like it's going to work so i think um origin form palkia v star definitely performing as a top deck if you haven't picked those up again i recommend that you pick those up um we're going to be moving on to Blissey, uh, Shintaro Ito, you know, the one that came second at Worlds, the 2016 um, World Champion. 2016, I believe. I could be wrong. Can someone correct me if I'm wrong or tell me if I'm right? Uh, going with Blissey Mill Tank. So Blissey Mill Tank. Going with the one Mill Tank. No way to get it back. Uh, Mill Tanks with its Miracle Body makes Blissey a good deck because you could just drop this down and some decks have no way to beat it uh, including uh <laughs> there's just some decks that just have no way to beat this and blissey just goes absolutely crazy with all the energy so i mean it's a cool deck um it definitely got some tricks like switch card and roxanne and switch card roxanne <laughs> that's basically it and the radiant greninja is good to discard some energies uh it's a card that we'll probably see in a lot of decks very common so you definitely want to pick these up uh so you discard an energy you can discard the energy and then get it back uh for the blissey so shout out to uh shintaro for playing super cool deck uh we're gonna be moving on to andrew h um that's playing malamar so Malamar is a deck that I wasn't necessarily expecting here, um, but it is one of those things where it still can win. And I think when we're all thinking about the shiny new Palkias and how do we update Mew and how do we play Dialga and all this stuff, um, it, it's one of those things where I think that Malamar um, just does not get the respect it deserves. So Malamar is going to be using Rapid Strike Tentacles, ripping 40 damage per Rapid Strike Pokemon you show from your hand. And you have all the Inkei, Sobbles, Remoraid, Octillery, and all the supporters and trainers and energies and stuff like that. Um, so you're just ripping a whole bunch. I mean, to me, this looks like a pretty uh, standard list. Don't really see too much that's not standard. Um, there's Guru here. There's Manaphy here. Pretty uh, typical. And you can get extra cards in your hand with either scoop up netting like an Octillery or using Rescue Carry to get back a couple Inkes or... Um, stuff like that so i mean that's really how you're going to be getting extra cards into your hand so shout out to malamar not sure where it's positioned but it's seeming like it's doing pretty good uh we got uh wama three two one playing paul kiffy star again uh you can see that this list is very similar um instead of going with the irida uh two irida lumineon packages going with four battle vip pass I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that because there's no way to search for it, but I do like the Starmie V in the deck. I think Starmie V with Energy Spiral is just very powerful, doing 50 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, so I like how that works out. Um, oh, I totally clicked out of the list. My bad. Um, yeah, everything else here seems pretty standard, so it's one of those things where Palkia does need a lot. It doesn't even have energy on its first turn. As long as you're able to evolve, get some energy on the discard pile, um, which you could easily get out with uh, the Radiant Greninja or one of your quick balls or i mean oh i guess they don't oh they do play quick ball so i was gonna say i guess they don't play quick ball um yeah they do play quick ball so that's one of the easy ways to get energies in the discard pile this deck can totally get set up and i mean i think it looks like a really uh, powerful list over here so again still trying to figure out palkia but all these lists are coming in pretty similar uh we're gonna see bujija 11 11 i'm not sure i that's probably we're gonna we're gonna that's probably the worst one that i got um going with arc inteleon or not arc inteleon arc malamar v max jolteon so you go jolteon with the memory capsule attached to it uh so your opponent's water pokemon in play have no abilities you can see that that's helpful with all these water type abilities like uh radiant greninja luminion inteleon drizzile Italion again palkia v star uh six on this hand jolteon was already good last form of brilliant stars and in Palkia V Star and Radiant Greninja, and this card just goes stonks. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not going stonks, but it's one of those things where I think it's uh, really well positioned here. And then you're going to go Arceus, powering up Pokemon with Trinity Charge, uh, Trinity Nova, and Trinity Charge, that is, uh, with Arceus V and Arceus V Star. Uh, powering up Malamar V Max, so you can just build up a Max Jammer. This deck should be good against Mew. And then you use cards like Marnie to rip cards out of their hand, go Max Jammer. 
and then uh, you choose the card that you want, and then you also path lock them. You can also use the memory capsule to use um, any attacks from its previous evolutions. So you could also copy drag off in some cases, and that's been pretty cool too. I just covered this one of my channels to so check that out. I think this looks like a pretty hot list. Um, I don't really see too many other changes. It looks pretty standard to me. Uh, so shout out to them for playing this deck. We are going to be moving on to our champion, and this is where you're in for a treat. Um, this really, this already affected the metagame um, hugely um, in so many more ways than one. So Reggie Nishiguchi, um, again, apologize if I mispronounce that name, played Turbo Dialga V-Star which is absolutely mind-boggling because a lot of players considered Dialga V-Star to be absolute uh, <laughs> trash. You could see, like, look at Dialga V-Star. Here's Monday. It goes for $12.95. And then wins late night series. Goes whoop, whoop, whoop. So I'm pretty happy. I opened a box. I pulled, a, I pulled two Dialga V-Stars. And I opened up a Hyper Rare Dialga V-Star. And I pulled an Aldar Dialga V. I know I'm absolutely lucky. You can see that these cards uh, going up a little bit, that is. Um, so it's one of those things where you're just trying to use Muse Mysterious Tail. Um, and if this Pokemon's in the active spot, you can look at the top six cards, grab an item card, and you're trying to grab things like Quick Ball, Metal Saucer, Cross Switchers, um, Scoop Up Net, use Mew again because you can reset that effect, especially if it touches your hand. Um, using Crobat to draw some cards. And then, of course, just going in with the Dialga V-Star, going Star, Chronos, Cross, Switcher, Knockout, Metal, Blast, and putting your opponent in these checkmate positions. A lot of the games I've been able to just knock out or bench out my opponent if they just start with a little bit of a weaker start. Even with two Pokemon, you could bench your opponent out because Star Chronos allows you to take an extra turn. Um, the engine is just super aggressive searching things out like trekking shoes and you can play minimal copies of this especially if you're going to be using Mew a few times so I mean this is already um it won the late night series 320 player events but it took the exact same engine um a group of Australian players played it for their Melbourne regional championships and were able to do turbo Palkia V-Star uh, with a similar engine and uh they were able to win that too so turbo decks are on the horizon stay tuned for more from that for me um super cool deck I think there's probably some changes that I'd want to make to it but um in terms of concept it's crazy so overall that's what we got going on here if you want to sign up um for the next one you could always sign up I mean shout out to all the players absolutely amazing uh showing as always and really cool decks I mean uh, the or I wish I got the finals for this one. I was just totally not feeling into um, anything that night. It's one of the, it's unfortunate the night that I just can't record. So if we look and see exactly what's going on, we can go to um, upcoming tournaments. If you scroll, you can see that the late night series always has that special little um, star. So the late night series seven uh, number forty two start Tuesday at six p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's going to translate that into whatever time zone that you're in. So check out the Limitless website. And then you can just go register now um, and register for the tournament. We got some free codes. Super excited to do that. And shout out to our sponsors, um, PokeX Word and PTCGO Store for making these events happen. So I'm super stoked for this. Absolutely amazing. And I mean, we we, we saw such a great event. So let me, uh, let me close this out. You can see I also run the late night specials. Try to sign those up. Um, lots of cool things going on here with Pokemon. And that's what we got going on for this video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it again. If you haven't already, hit that like button. It really does help support the channel. If you enjoy watching the content, the easiest thing that you can do, I mean, you don't need to support me financially. I totally appreciate it, but you don't need to support me financially. Uh, giving the like button, leaving a comment, sharing this with a couple friends really helps this channel organically grow. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just a dude that creates Pokemon content. It's, uh, I, I'm not a billionaire. I, I do okay for myself. I have enough to get an espresso machine and I have a coffee and stuff like that. If you want to support me any more than that, become, consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon member. I do give access to all of my deck lists, or you could hit me up for a coaching session, coaching session. I promise I can pronounce it better than that. Uh, Metify.gg at Zach Lasage. I can totally help you up your game. I've turned players, um, from relatively starting the game into international world regional league cup world's invites uh champions and all those things 100 percent factual so super excited um if you're interested i'll have some availability likely after the north american international championship so stay tuned for more information for that um i'm trying to get as much content recorded as possible because i will be leaving to milwaukee very soon this week so i'll get you with all y'all later peace out and have a great day
Check out ptcgeostore.com, the best place to get Pokemon TCG online codes. There's a lot of selection available, and I have a discount code available for the website as well. You can pick up any kind of cards, just going up here. You can add them to your cart in any quantity that you need to get the cards that you need. And you can go to the discount code right over here, and you can put in code ZLASSAGE5 to save 5% on your next order of codes. Are you trying to get better at Pokemon TCG? Well, if you are, you're in the right place. I have a coaching at metafi.gg slash at Zach That link is in the description and you pick up a coaching session from me and book it on the website. I likely have availability this week and you can see exactly what my availability cal calendar is at any given time. I offer training plans to help players get ready for any of their upcoming events, including getting all the way to the world championships, or you could pick up a one-on-one -on -one coaching session from me and learn the game at your own pace. I offer a variety of opportunities for players to get better at the game and it's one of those things where there's a lot of players who i've turned into regional international and even a world champion along the way um, if there's anything in the shows i have an faq on the website so by all means check it out and get better today i'd love to help you on your pokemon journey and be absolutely amazing to see your growth i truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video it means the world to me and my goal with this channel is to spread my love of the game and knowledge with our entire Pokemon TCG community. If you haven't already, help Signal Boost this video to other Pokemon TCG fans by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Hopefully we reach our goals really soon. Check out this recommended video, and have yourself a great day. Thanks.